London's top police officer has delivered a lesson about knife crime today to pupils sadly familiar with the devastating impact that it can have. Commissioner Bernard Hogan Howe was at Edmonton County School, which was attended by Negus McLean. 15-year-old Negus was stabbed to death in a street last year as he tried to stop thieves from stealing his younger brother's mobile phone. This report now from Marcus Powell. When school children need some help with their classwork, it's good to ask questions of those in authority. But it's not often that the top brass actually visit in person. Yet Police Commissioner Bernard Hogan Howe came to the Edmonton County School today to talk about stop and search after GCSE students wrote to ask him about this, one of the more controversial police powers. Well, do you think they are carrying something that is evidence of an offence? So, for example, a knife, uh, drugs, stolen property. Uh, that's essentially the main reason that we're carrying out that search. Police arrest just 12 in every 100 people they stop and search, but it remains the best way they know of fighting knife crime, which blights this area. Many young lives have been lost through gang attacks. You know, it's just an awful thing. And we've got to stop people carrying knives because it's changing arguments into murders. A 15-year-old from this very school, Negus McLean, was killed last year, attacked by a group of seven youths on bicycles who pursued him and his younger brother. It remains unsolved. Ten young men have been arrested, but there are still no charges, as police don't have the hard evidence they need. But I've got a belief, which is that people know who carries knives. That may be true, but no one here was admitting it. Do you know in this school who carries a knife? I'm not asking you to name them, I'm just, just wondering. Helping the police is a problem for many youngsters. Whatever they know and want to say, fear of the gangs is a more dominant factor. Say the person trusted you in the city, or oh, don't tell anyone I've got this, this knife or gun, and you go to the police, the person will know it's you because you're the only one that they told, and then they might come and hurt you, and no one wants to get hurt. So. Do you think people don't believe that it's confidential? Yeah. Or may not, may not believe it. Yeah. The problem the police face is getting information in complete confidence. But the problem for the public is that if that information is not provided, it's the gangs that control the streets, not the police. Quite a thought for a GCSE citizenship class. In Negus McLean's case, there's a £20,000 reward for information which leads to the conviction of his killers. Marcus Powell, London Tonight, Edmonton. Well, with me now is Sarah Adu, who works with young people, and also young offenders, to help rehabilitate them back into society. Sarah, you've spoken a lot about this subject, haven't you? It's, um, you know, you're an expert on it. We've been hearing about the man in charge today of the Met Police Force. Um, what effect do you think that's going to have? Um, I do feel that um, what needs to be more implemented in schools is a lesson of trust, to, get, to gain trust within these young people. If we could have certain... Um, things, organisations going into schools such as um, things like the youth engagement panel, gaining a level of trust with these young people. We will have no problem with these young people bringing out if they know of people or friends that are carrying weapons. So if we can gain some kind of trust where they can trust us to keep it all confidential and um, we shouldn't have a problem. Would you go as far as suggesting and supporting the idea of actually having knife crime lessons, as it were, as part of the national curriculum? Uh, to be honest with you, I don't think it should go as far as national curriculum, but it could be a, a certain class as like an extra, a, extra, more like an extracurricular activity rather than part of a national curriculum, because we have a lot of students out there that that would not be beneficial to, because not all students, not all young people are involved in knife crimes or... Um, weapons. You're absolutely right. I mean, but there must be an element of frustration with the work that you do. These measures that are around at the moment, they're nothing new. We're saying the same things time and time again, year on year, and yet the message somehow just doesn't seem to be reaching the people who really need to hear it. I think if the people, that, most of the people that are putting these measures in place, they need to come and be actually be part of what we're dealing with every day, young youth workers. We're youth workers dealing with hands-on young people every day. The majority of the time we don't have a problem with young people because we already gain some form of trust mm -hmm. with them to where we have a relationship, we build a relationship where they can come and confide in us in any kind of problem. And hence that's why we do, um, Edmonton County School is one of the schools that we go to on a weekly basis. We're open, we do drop-in services for the young people to approach us. We don't approach them, they just approach us in mm. any issues they're having. And the work that you do is so extraordinary, isn't it, Sarah? I mean, you have said in the past, haven't you, that actually your work would be a lot easier if it started with parents, if, if lessons about knife crimes and the dangers of that kind of life 
starts at home with parents yes. right at the beginning. Yes, definitely. Um, at the moment, the uh, the parenting age is getting younger. Our parents are getting our parents. We're having more younger parents. We've got bringing up young children. Um, we're not saying that they're incompetent. However, they do need the right. Sh they need to b learn to put the right structure culturally um, in place in the home. I mean, it comes from the home first. So if they if they raise their children, our young parents are taught how to be good parents to their children. Their children are going to be raised with the right values and morals. Okay, so we must leave it there. Thank you very much indeed for coming in and sharing your expertise with us this evening on London Tonight. Thanks Thank a lot. You.